Hello my fellow stampers. I am here to show you February's paper pumpkin. It is called Safari Celebration. So let's take a look. Inside we have our instructions. They are pretty easy to follow. I will be putting together one of each card and then uh, after that I'll be uh, making some of my own because I think this is going to be a really fun kit to work with. In each uh, kit that you receive, you get a Stampin' Spot. This one is Rich Razzleberry. I like when they give you the, I like, it's kind of like getting a little sample of the color before you make the purchase. I don't have the Rich Razzleberry in the stamp pad, but this would be the stamp pad uh, that you would purchase. And uh, so it's a nice way to try it out and then make the purchase. These do last a while though, as long as you keep them uh, closed, uh, the ink uh, pad will not dry up. So Rich Razzleberry is what we're working with this month. We have our exclusive stamp set. Really, really cute sayings on here. Amazing, you did it, fantastic. Look at this one here, yay. Let's see, what else we have? We have some vellum, this is a different shape. So we have three of the vellums ready to adhere to um, your cards. The die cuts are ready to pop out and be attached to your card. This is what makes Paper Pumpkin so convenient to have. You can have your kit, you're on the go, grab it, you're out the door. Take it with you, take it in the RV, take it on a little vacation. Sometimes you have some downtime and um, you can make cards. So you don't have to like pack up a big old tote and roll it around and just take your kit with you. Get your girlfriends together, craft together. That's what I do. We have a paper pumpkin night and everybody brings their kits and we all just uh, make cards for a couple of hours. So here's the die cuts that this one comes with. Here are some of the uh, characters that are in this month's kit. We have a giraffe holding a cupcake. There's that yay stamp, so this one's already there. And a chimpanzee with a hula hoop. How about that? That looks like a lot of fun. Here are the envelopes. This month's kit comes with enough to make nine cards, three of each color. And if you go to the front side of it, you'll see on the side there's a little pattern already stamped. The coordinating colors with the patterns. These are already scored. You can fold them over and start working on your cards. Well, look at that. Who doesn't love elephants on roller skates? We're going to do something with this guy. We have our blank tags ready to be stamped and punched out. And then our adhesive. You always get adhesive dots. And here are your dimensionals. Kind of gives things a little bit of height when they are placed on the card. We have some embellishments. I'm not sure. There are some different shapes here. They kind of look like little, little stones. So we'll see when I read the directions where those will go. Now, if this is your first kit that you're receiving, or if you're still deciding on when to start your subscription, now is the time. With every paper pumpkin, every first kit that you receive, when you start your subscription, you will receive your first block. And this will, this is what you attach the stamp to, put it on, ink it, press, and go. So you always get one block with your very, very first kit. We do sell um, acrylic blocks, different sizes, and um, I will show you those later. That comes in time where you might need some other tools as well. A bone folder, some paper snips, some extra adhesive, all that comes in time. But pretty much everything you need is in this kit. Now, I want to let you know that right now is the time to subscribe. 
because March Kit has a special, special gift. If you're already a subscriber, you're going to receive it. But if you have not subscribed yet, Beyond the Horizon is the March Kit. And they are including an extra stamp set with your kit. So every March is a celebration for Paper Pumpkin and you get the gift. So you will be receiving an extra stamp set and you can make so, so much more with your existing kit that you're gonna receive as well as alternative ideas. So I'm gonna make one of each. I'll be back and I'll post a photo of them. I have a link for you to subscribe. In order to receive the March kit, you must subscribe by March 10th. That is the last day. You can follow my calendar on my Stampin' Up! website. And there is a link there that you can go to, as well as my Facebook page. And uh, I hope to see you at my scrap table. Let me know if you're interested in a scrap night. I have some spring classes coming up. I have paper pumpkin night coming up. I have Easter coming up. And uh, let me know. All right. Thanks for watching and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.